So, quickly stopping at the old workshop, we are tumbling titanium vegetable, ve I'll start that again, we are tumbling titanium vegetable peelers, that is my machinist's project, he's got a thousand vegetable peelers and 400 titanium cheese slicers to be tumbled, I do the finishing process on it, I also do the water jet cutting of the blanks, he does the machining, so we're still doing the sort of testing process to really sort of finalise the finishing, I can find one in here for you, uh, maybe, maybe they've all been taken out, are they all out of here? Yeah. Oh. They're not in there. So here is a few of them there. Very dark because we're only part way through doing them. Stopping off here quickly, set the tumbler going and then heading to the new workshop to do some milling. Once again, my apologies for the noise. It is raining like you would not believe it again here today. Let's just get straight into it though. Yesterday, or in yesterday's video, I talked about this spinner here. Actually, that's not quite true. I didn't just talk about it. I showed you me machining the whole thing basically. When I was heading home yesterday, I was completely in my head, sort of just thinking while I was driving and my friend was like, you know, Magnus, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm still machining in my head. And the problem was, was, I couldn't let it go. There was just one or two things about that that were just bothering me. And I know it's just a muckabout project. I know it's just like, you know, I shouldn't need to do it, but there's something not quite right about it. And I have to, my sort of OCD sort of tendencies are just sort of kicking off and screaming at me. And I have to just do a couple of modifications today. I think that's all I'm gonna have time for. We'll see how it goes. But um, yes, milling time. So that's one side of it machined. Just gonna flip it around, mill the other side. And then gonna, I think I'm gonna start buttons from scratch. Got these two titanium blanks here. Not quite sure of the button design, probably just something really simple because you know, it's quite a, it's quite busy, it's quite a busy design for the main spinner, you know, all, the, all those lines and steps and grooves and whatnot. So, you know, it might be a little bit try hard if I like do the same with the buttons. So probably something a bit vanilla, a bit simple. Right, so, I think I might have to call it a day at that, or very close to it, because um, we're kind of having to leave this workshop. There is uh, quite a lot of storm stuff, rain, the rain that's been going on. Apparently it's going to get really bad, they're starting to close roads. And I think if we don't leave now, it is 2 or 3 in the afternoon, there's a chance we'll have to like, stay here and not like get home tonight. So, I'll show you what I've got so far. Well, I say so far, but... I think this is it finished. A little bit of sanding and tumbling and then it'll be done. So these top and bottom bits is what I did yesterday if you remember. And but these side bits is what I did today right now. So so, so that's it there. One end and the other end is just the same. I also did a curve here. You see that you see that curve just glinting right at the front there? I did that there and that there right now. So that's got a curve. This side's got a curve. Um, so it's a lot more shapely than it was, but like I said, I'm uh, going to head off now. Assuming I get to the old workshop uh, in about an hour, hour and a half's time, uh, I might show you a bit of sanding and tumbling of this. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, really. Back at the old workshop, I've just sanded 
the spinner. It's looking a little bit shinier on the flats and sort of on the curves. What I'm going to do now is pop it in one of the barrels for tumbling. You know, that's the great thing about um, tumbling uh, and the tumbling process. I've been doing it for over three years now, you know, starting in a small way and getting bigger and bigger, you know, ultimately ending up with that fairly substantial um, vibratory tumbler there as well as, as well as the centrifugal one right here. And I never ever get bored of, of just what it can do, you know, how it can, it can smooth edges, smooth corners, give it a great finish. Now this finish here is a stonewash finish. Um, you know, not a nice smooth matte finish, it's, it's a little bit more aggressive, but it's, it's kind of all I've got time for today and you know what, I might just leave it at that um, for just now, but take a look at this. If you remember what I showed you earlier, this is just such a, such a, whoa that looks like, kind of like a belt buckle, that would be cool. Anyway, such a massive improvement on, on the sort of raw look from before. It's actually quite sharp the way it was before. Right, so let's get a couple of buttons in this. Now, obviously I didn't have time to make my own custom buttons today. That will be a, a, a job for another day. So I'm gonna use these buttons, which are brass. They are by NTO Designs. So we'll put one in the bottom and one in the top. Don't know which is the top or the bottom. They're pretty much the same. Now that looks pretty cool. Um, definitely not the buttons that are gonna be finally going on it, but um, you know, good enough for now. Oh, look at that. Let's get a close-up on that. Now, I know that it's really good to fidget with, um, even though you wouldn't think so, the sort of chunkiness of it. But the reason I know it's very good to fidget with is the last few days, while I've been sort of doing little bits of it, going to um, the new workshop and back, it's about uh, an hour, an hour and a quarter's drive. I've been playing with this pretty much solid uh, all the way there and all the way back. And, you know, it, it was a bit sharp before, but now it's just really smooth. And it's got something. I don't think I've seen a, a fidget spinner so as as chunky as this, um, you know, and it's turned out pretty damn well. Um, I had no intentions of making one before, but I've, there's just something about this that's, you know, it's definitely not pocket friendly, but there's a there's a certain sort of chunkiness and, and weight to it that just that just isn't there in other ones I've tried, um, both my own prototypes and other people's. Um, yeah, kind of a. Kind of a, a cool thing. I've not said I've not said the the uh, the X word in a while, but it does have a bit of an X factor. Right, I will leave you with a quote. It is by Jim Rohn, and he said, "We must all suffer one of two things: the pain of discipline, or the pain of regret and disappointment." <laughs>